what's good everybody this is major from infamous techblog.com uh, bringing you a real quick hands-on of the two uh, new palm devices available over on Verizon wireless that's the palm pre plus and the palm pixie plus uh, both of these phones have been out for a little while over on Sprint but they recently came over to Verizon with a couple of changes and a couple of upgrades so we're gonna go ahead and do a you know a real quick run through I'm uh, gonna have a full review coming up on both of these so we're gonna keep it short today uh, let's go ahead and jump it off with the Palm Pre you see here uh, real nice sharp looking display uh, that's a 3.1 inch screen that you're looking at 320 by 480 is the screen resolution um, of course too with the Palm Pre one of the big you know pluses with this phone is the slide out full QWERTY keyboard that you get down here um, as we look across the exterior uh, you got your volume rocker here across this side uh, down here at the bottom you've got your battery removal button uh, over here you've got your go ahead and pull that out that's where your charger will plug in right there so that's your USB port and then up here at the top you got your three and a half millimeter uh, headphone jack and then you've got your uh, lock button right here so you know real sleek design man it's a good looking phone it is on the small side you know 3.1 inches definitely is you know not one of the bigger phones out there on the market but um you know and playing with it man I, I ain't gonna front I kind of fell in love with it it's a real smooth device let's go ahead and take a look at the software you see here you got a good look at how their you know menus are laid out I'm gonna slide over and take a look at the device info let you see how that's running you see here that's the one thing I did notice about you know the pre is that sometimes it takes a little while for you know apps to fire up but once they do open up you know they're very snappy real quick uh, we see here palm web OS 1.3.5.1 and uh, the web OS is super slick I mean I haven't been reviewing phones all that long so this is the first you know real extended time I've gotten to spend with it and it's just a real real smooth interface man you see here is real flexible you know very intuitive picks up on you know all your movements and it's you know it's real fun to play around with real cool to use um, let's go ahead and take a look at the browser too since I know everybody loves the browser that's one of the biggest things to look at on you know almost any phone I'm gonna go ahead and pull up our website infamous techblog.com and this phone does have Wi-Fi and the pixie which is over here didn't have Wi-Fi on the sprint version this now has Wi-Fi and you know actually works real well too what you can see here um, very responsive interface you know very quick the accelerometer on this phone actually picks up real well too I think because of the angle I'm at here it may have there we go the web browsing is very nice no complaints um, it handles you know YouTube YouTube video very well I'm gonna go ahead and click on that that's gonna bring up the media player and it doesn't take you right to the video I wish it would that would be, you know, a little bit nicer. But once the video loads up, it's, you know, very sharp, man. Resolution looks real nice. I'm just going to let this play just for a second, just so you guys can get an idea of the quality. But... Hey, yo, what's going on, baby? This is Major from TheHype.com. Yeah, let's go ahead and get out of there. And I love the way, too, man, you just, you know, you know, swipe up to get rid of an app it's just a real slick interface and I'll tell you what I mean you know I'm a big droid fan so you know I don't think that's a secret but the web OS definitely you know is one of the better OS's out there it's real smooth one of the only drawbacks that you know I can see on this phone is right now the camera on on the device is very good uh, no complaints about the camera whatsoever but video is lacking at the moment I believe there's gonna be an update that will fix that you know in the near future we'll see you know how soon that's gonna actually hit the streets but you know 
really no complaints i mean everything's really usually very snappy i see i'm getting hung up a little bit here but it's just a real slick phone um if you you know really like the you know the slider that is so definitely a cool feature and something that a lot of people would enjoy playing with real quick let's go ahead and give the pixie some shine here i'm spending all the time on the pre and i'm not trying to shortchange the pixie at all just got done setting up a gmail account and that's my infamous tech blog account so as you can see obviously both of these phones you know do support the google client um, if you go to messaging both of these phones you know do a great job and this actually has a real slick interface where they allow you to tie to sms and other instant messaging i believe this one does aim google talk and i want to say yahoo as well and it's sweet because you'll have a contact on there and you can literally on the fly pick whether you want to sms or if you just in the middle of a conversation want to change over and switch over to google talk you can do that too so that works real good uh the pixie's got a 2.6 inch display which is 320 by 400 so it is a little on the small side but i'll tell you what the one thing i do like about the pixie is the um you know the messaging on it is it's real nice man i mean the keyboard and the way it's laid out here is very easy you know to type out a message the buttons are nice and clicky i'm gonna go ahead and just type anything here and you saw how easy that was man it's just really there's nothing to it and it's a real you know pretty much the same experience that you get over on the pre just on a smaller screen this phone's just a little bit small for my taste um, I prefer the pre you know over this one obviously but you know this phone being $99 is you know not a bad pickup at all this one comes stock with a uh, 8 gigabytes of um, storage space the Palm Pre comes with 16. Uh, this has a 2.0 megapixel camera as opposed to the 3.0 on the Pre, but um, still takes you know pretty good pictures. And the big plus is this one does now have Wi-Fi, you know, as the one on Sprint didn't. So two great phones. Um, Verizon just keeps on adding on to that smartphone, you know, selection. And these are two of the better ones. But like I said, I'm gonna keep it brief, and I'm already getting close to eight minutes, so it's time to go ahead and shut it down. Be on the lookout for reviews on both of these devices coming up real soon. This is Major for InfamousTechBlog.com signing off. Peace.